Oh yes, it is time for another episode of the Man Made Gourmet, and it is the day of the Irishman, St. Patrick's Day. And I've been waiting to try this all day long, Gary. <clears throat> Woo! Ooh. Look at the Irish I've got! It's pretty good, right? Very good. Chef Gary Iwanowicz here. <laughs> Tyler Ryan there. <laughs> Welcome to Man Made Gourmet. Now here's the deal. It's a bit of a cooking competition slash you learn something at home and it's so easy that a guy can actually cook this and it's going to be a very traditional Irish dish. What are we very cooking today? Traditional. Well, I don't have a great Irish accent, however, it's Ooh, But I, you can borrow mine once in a while, you can you little leprechaun you. Yeah, it's enough with the leprechaun jokes. But, you know, it is just, yeah. Well, we are doing a Irish dish called Kel Collin. It is not your average corned beef and potatoes and cabbage. Because that'd be boring. That's boring. And man-made man gourmet is anything but boring. Anything but boring. All the ingredients are indigenous to Ireland, mm -hmm. so we're actually doing everything Irish today. Ooh, that we'll was really out. bad. I, I was, yeah. We'll work on that for the next little bit. You gotta help me. So here's the deal. We're gonna teach our would-be man, man-made or men-made men -made. gourmets to cook this uh, Col Cannon, and then they're gonna compete, and whoever, I said it right, whoever does it the best, according to Gary and I, are gonna win a nice little prize pack from the man-made gourmet. Absolutely. All right, you yep. ready to meet the chefs? Here they are. Hi, I'm Amber Engel. Hi, I'm Michael Lenore. Hi, I'm Michael Mew. Hey, I'm Erica Heron. Hey, I'm Abigail Rael. Hey, I'm Joe Rael. Okay, as they say in Ireland, Ooh, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. So today's recipe is so quick, so easy, so delicious. And of course, we're using bacon, which is the candy of all meats. First of all, we're using a white potato, otherwise known as a russet potato. We're gonna be boiling our potatoes so this is the best potato that you can use for boiling because it holds up. And we just want to cut them out. Now how big do you want them? Because obviously the smaller they get, then the uh, easier they're going to be to boil. Right? Absolutely. So we're just making just some rustic cuts. Okay. Just like that. I will do that. And if you want to finish oh, out the rest. Oh, it's going to hurt me. All right, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Be careful. I am. Look at that cut. So you so cut it in half and you set it down so it doesn't roll. That's the secret to hey. cutting right there. Now guys, the recipe, by the way, is at themanmadegourmet.com, and the whole point of this is going to be so easy to cook that, yeah, you can do it at home without Gary sitting next to you telling you what to do. It would be fun if I was there, but I always won't be there. Don't bet on that. I'll show up when you least expect it. Now, our next thing to do is our cabbage, okay? I'm, I'm not a big fan you. of cabbage, though. Well, cabbage is really great. Brush do you like cabbage? Be... Do you like cabbage? Sorry, yeah, seeing the cabbage. Cabbage? Cabbage? No. See, nobody likes cabbage. cabbage. All right. They're going to love cabbage. After this, I will make believers of you. All right. We're always going to get rid of the core part, and we're going to cut it up like that. Would cut that be the cabbage heart? And sliver it. No, no. Actually, I wouldn't say cabbage heart. Mm -hmm. It's a cold vegetable. It doesn't have a heart. <laughs> ah. But uh, we're actually using a white cabbage and then we're going to do a red cabbage for color as well. Is there any difference in the flavor? Not, not much. Uh, it's a, red cabbage is a little bit more sturdy, not as tender, mm -hmm. but it's going to add some beautiful color to the dish and a wonderful texture. Leeks are amazing. They're in the onion family. Mm -hmm. However, it's a very, very dirty vegetable. It's and got an interesting flavor too. Aroma is, anyway. It is a very mild oniony flavor, so delicious when it's sauteed. And you want to Would you say it's magically delicious? I would definitely use that term today. Okay. It's green, and you don't want to go to the dark green, just to the light green. And the best way to do it is get your bowl of water. All right. And just pop it in there and... Let it soak and sit. Just let it soak. All the sand will go to the bottom. The leeks will stay nice and fresh. And then when you take them out, give them one more rinse, you've got clean leeks. Actually, I kind of stole the candy of all meat being bacon that was a, a thought from our lovely cheerleader co cook here. Just oh, yeah, shout me. out by the way for the Columbia Quad Squad. What up, girls? Yeah. Okay. Extreme. Let's cook the meat. The candy of the all meat. Candy meats. of all meats. Go the ahead. Candy of all meat. All right. We're just going to get maybe about four or five slices. Maybe four or five slices. No. Love <laughs> bacon. You can never have too much bacon. And what we're going to do is just going to. Dice up our bacon. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love the bacon. All right. Actually, right now we are done prepping. I'm telling you, this is so simple. Are we going to the stove? We are definitely going to go to the stove. We're going to boil off our potatoes right. a little bit, and then we're going to simmer everything together and make kel collin. And then our chefs are going to try it. Uh -huh. One of them is going to be the ultimate Irishman today. Who is going to be the ultimate Irishman competition? 
On the Man Made Gourmet, I want to thank the McCutcheon House as well for letting Absolutely. us cook here again. Beautiful what a great facility. facility. Great facility. Awesome buffet at lunch that you can check out as well Delicious. right on the Horseshoe Delicious. at USC. So, all right, let's hit the stove, and in a few minutes, we're going to get them cooking as well. Absolutely. To the stove. To the stove. I'm Andy Awn with Awn & McKay Law Firm. You run off the road by an 18-wheeler, changing your life forever. Maybe it's a death of a loved one, or maybe it's a permanent debilitating injury. You know that big trucking company has a lawyer, but what about you? Who's going to pay? Because in reality, getting paid is getting justice. When you call Awn & McKay, you'll speak to a lawyer, not a switchboard. Make that first call your most important. Make that call to Awn & McKay. Want to get in shape for the spring? Tokyo Grill can help you eat healthy. We have options that are fresh and lighter on you and your budget. For a limited time only, you can get a lunch bento box for only $4.95. Each bountiful box comes with rice, a salad, spring roll, and your choice of chicken, steak, or shrimp. This is good for a limited time only, so hurry into one of Tokyo Grill's seven locations across the Midlands. Tokyo Grill, fresh hibachi, fast. Randy McKay, you've been injured because you or someone else was overserved alcohol at a bar. A bar that overserves alcohol may be liable for any injuries caused by the acts of their drunk patrons. Allowing a person to drink to the point of intoxication and then sending them on their way is like loading a gun. They may not pull the trigger, but they certainly loaded the chamber. Don't let the bar's thirst for profits cause you to suffer an injury without compensation. Anna McKay, make us your first and only call. Joe's Cheesecake Recipe has been in the family for five decades and has won numerous awards. We only use the highest quality ingredients. The holidays are hectic enough. Let Joe take care of dessert. Call 732-CAKE to order yours today. That's 732-2253. Have you tried a Joe? All right, we are back. Our potatoes are definitely boiled. I think that our onion is chopped. Here's the onion. And I'm ready. we are ready to cook. Oh, wow. A little, a little crying. Cry. Oh, oh, give me a break. All right. It's magically delicious. All right, fire. Flame on, as they say. Flame on. All right. All right, we're ready gonna, to go. We're gonna heat that saucepan up a little bit? Uh, just a little bit. What just I little. want you to do is add a nice sliver of butter. I mean, this is Irish, guys. If, they, if you can't use butter in this, that's fine for now. Butter's in here. <laughs> butter, butter is definitely in the pan. It's getting all frothy, and that's what you're looking for. When you're doing butter, you want it just to froth up a little bit. And now the candy of our meats is our bacon. Throw our bacon, bacon is going to go in there. And our bacon is actually not going to go to a crisp stage. We're actually going to cook it limp because that's going to be our flavor in our potatoes. Don't forget bmanmadegourmet.com. You can log on, get all the ingredients you need. You can even cook it this afternoon if you want to this for afternoon. your Irish friends. Throw a St. Patrick's yeah. Day party. Throw a St. Patrick's Day party. Okay. Our bacon is definitely rendering. Guys, i got to tell you, bacon and butter together, such a beautiful, beautiful aroma. So what do you think, gentlemen? Take, step in and take a whiff if you oh, would. Oh, yeah. Oh, whiff it's heaven. Up. It's a little slice of heaven. There you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Michael, high. right? All right. All right. And at this point, we're going to add in our onion. All right. Yep. Yep. We want it in the pan. Okay. Now we're going to add in our leeks. Okay. And we're going to do a little bit of salt and pepper, just about a teaspoon of salt. All right. And that is our Ocean's Flavor Low Sodium Salt, by the way, guys. Great yep. stuff. Not a salt substitute, but actually low sodium salt, which low is important sodium as well. Low sodium salt. A little bit of pepper. All right, I'm going to throw in our cabbage, and we're going to let that saute a little bit. All right. All right, in the pan. It's in the pan. In the pan. Now we're going to layer with flavor. We are going to use a little bit of whole caraway seeds. Okay. Now we're going to cook this for about maybe 15 or 20 minutes, mm -hmm. just until the cabbage turns tender, but you still want that nice little bite to your cabbage, okay? Let's turn up your heat a little bit, and let that puppy start rocking and rolling. <laughs> All right, that, that actually looks amazing right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our potatoes. Okay. You just want to use maybe about a cup of potatoes. They've been already boiled. And what you're going to do is they're just going to naturally kind of pick up all the juices and the flavors. And then as we are tossing it around, they'll kind of like smash in there. And then I'm going to add 
a little bit more butter to this. Beautiful. I hope you guys are taking good notes. There's a lot going on here. All right. There's a lot going on. Now you're ready for the cream? Always, go ahead. We're using a heavy cream. If you want to go lighter and be a little healthier, you can go half and half. I don't recommend using regular milk for this. Lovely. Boom. Yeah, there we just go. kind of smash it up in there. Perfect. These little suckers can get away from you if you're not careful. They can. If we had the proper, the only thing that we have here is a very large smasher that I'm actually scared to use. But, I don't know, should I? It's taller than you are. Should I? You should, I think so. You think? Gosh, this, this thing's bigger than I am. This is our smasher because the McCutcheon house only has professional quality things. Right. And the food's delicious. You may not have one in your house. You may not have one okay. in your house, but I'm going to try this. All right, everybody duck. Gonna smash those potatoes what? in there. Oh, wow, well, it works. Very good. <laughs> Very good. We're going to turn the heat down. Everything is coming together. We're going to plate it and we're going to grate a little bit of Irish cheese. Oh, this looks really good. Oh, I know yeah, it's good it's cabbage, amazing. but it does look pretty good. Try to get more bacon in there. <laughs> you don't tell me that twice. All right. All right, there we go. That oh, is, that looks good. Oh, yeah, yeah. That looks beautiful. All right. And then we're using an Irish cheddar that we're just going to grate on top of this. Right on top. Oh, that is perfect. Right there. Oh, man. And then a little bit of hot pepper right on top. And Love it. There you go. There it is. That is the Cal Colin. There it is. Man. Happy St. Patrick's Day to Happy that. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Chefs, get over here and get cooking. I can be me now. That's the finished product. Okay. We can taste it. Wow. Oh my gosh. That looks All good. right, chefs, are y'all ready to cook? Ready. ready. You got your cabbage, you got your potatoes, you got your onions, you got your, well, your bacon. Candy of all meat. That is it. Mm. Are you ready? All right, walk us through how you make this call can. Can you give me an Irish accent to that? Cool can. Ooh, that's good. Give me one. Cool can. Ooh, that's even better. <laughs> Sounds like my grandmother. All right, we're gonna Let's get cooking. Do it. Do your thing. Dice. Dice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be very rusty. Dice. I like rustic looking. Rustic cutting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think he's actually doing all right. I mean, Look at that. I'm here. No, those are rustic. Great. He's perfect, really? Right? Those are rustic. Are you like, right? cheering him on or what? Oh yeah. Were you a cheerleader? Were you? I, 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 I knew it. I knew it. I mean, I knew he's it. doing perfect. He doesn't need any criticism. All right, we'll, we'll see. Not criticize, just cheer him on. Doing a good oh, job, gosh. Michael. All right, so Michael down here decided to start with the cabbage. Oh yeah. You can you start you with the cabbage. All right. Move the core. Re yes. That good. Did you give him a hint on that? Be honest. All right. All right. Good. All right. <laughs> Moving the core. Not too bad. Oh, Guys, don't forget this recipe and the entire thing is going to be at themanmadegourmet.com so you can make this at home as well. He's got a little claw. I saw a chef claw. I saw a chef claw. claw. Can we get in on this chef claw here? I saw the chef claw. Yeah, yeah. So like flip it over. Yeah, feel like that. What are you telling me to do? No, but do it this way. Like, ah. No? Uh, <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, I'm gonna chop my hand. Down. There you go. Oh, so We'd like you to leave time. with as many, I don't care how many you have, I want you to leave with as many as you walk in the door with yes. today. That many digits? Yeah, that as many as you have. That's my yeah. goal. Uh, you know, <laughs> if it's 10, if it's 9, I don't care. Just make sure you leave with all of them. Oh, yeah. I said, are you crying? Yes. Okay. It is very moving to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It's a very moving day. I just hate you to say anything in my eyes are moving. I'm very emotional, guys. You guys are doing such a great job. It's a great day. It's St. Patty's Day! That's looking good. They're actually doing a pretty good job. We got a quick bunch today. I'm telling you, these guys pay attention, but it ain't over yet. Don't forget, guys, the, uh, the ultimate man-made gourmet today is going to win a nice little prize pack from the man-made gourmet, including uh, some time with Gary and I in your very own homes. In the home. We, uh, we may not leave, just so you know. You better. Yeah, yeah. Hope you, I hope you got bunk beds. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking the top. <laughs> also, uh, also, a four-pack from Riverbank Zoo and Garden as well, so you can go check out the animals and have a great time at Riverbank Zoo and Garden. Oh, yeah. Uh, Riverbank thank you to Riverbanks as well. Absolutely. Chef Gary, you coming to cook at my house? Uh, hey. I think he's getting a little bit cocky over here. I got a little bit let's cocky. See, come on, we got to give him yeah, a little attention. Michael, right. let's see what we're going on here. All right. I'm telling you. All right, overachiever, Alex B. Keaton of the group. All right. Let's see. I, the core is out. The uh -huh. potatoes are nice. Uh -huh. Bacon oh, is good. Not really as onions? rustic as I'd like onions? it to be. But they're in there. Where are the onions? They're hidden in the cabinet. Oh, they're hidden yeah, in the yeah, cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's all good. Okay. Really all right. 
And I like the way that he's like not using the knives, he's tearing it apart. Well, that's what a man does just in the tearing kitchen. Tearing it apart. You just tear things apart. Rip that cabbage. Rip it. Oh, what do you think? I think we're ready. Uh huh. Right. I, I love it. Uh -huh. I mean, this is this is. All right, I tell you wow. what. We are in search today on this very special St. Patrick's Day edition of the Man-Made Gourmet. You're going to uh, find us a Man-Made Gourmet. One of these three gentlemen is going to win a prize pack, and we're going to eat and enjoy it. Absolutely. That's right. Stick around. More Man-Made Gourmet on the way. Stay with us. J for my love, John. And the W stands for false, Willie. Oh, but Johnny is the fairest man. Oh, Johnny is the fairest man. The McCutcheon House operates a living laboratory where students in the School of Hotel, Restaurant, and Tourism Management prepare, serve, and manage a now-famous gourmet all-you-can-eat lunch, all under the direction of executive chefs and professional staff. Come experience the restaurant's signature cuisine, impeccable service, an atmosphere of quiet elegance. For more information on the McCutcheon House restaurant, private dining, and cooking classes, call 803-777-4450 or visit mccutcheonhouse.sc.edu. I'm Randy McKay. Injured? Counting on the insurance company to do the right thing? Insurance companies are businesses with the goal of making a profit. That means paying you as little as possible. Some even rely on a computer to tell them how much to pay on your claim. Do you want your future determined by a computer? Anna McKay, we think people should make that decision. Let Anna McKay get you the compensation you deserve. Anna McKay, make us your first and only call. Do you hear that? That's the sound of silence. It's also the sound of a quiet, quality ceiling fan from Dance Fan City. Dance Fan City, located on Harbison Boulevard in Irmo, has a wide selection of quiet, quality ceiling fans ready for you to choose from. So if you're looking for quiet comfort in your home, visit Dance Fan City on Harbison Boulevard today. Dance Fan City, quiet, quality ceiling fans. Children's oral health is very important to us here. That's why we opened up Kids First Dental, Columbia's newest state of art facility for kids aging one to 21. Kids First Dental offers regular oral exams, cleanings, and x-rays, as well as fillings, crowns, and extractions. Our goal is to keep your kids' smile bright. Kids First Dental is now accepting patients on Medicaid. Call us today to find out how to get your free oral exam. Kids First Dental at 2700 Broad River Road. Call us at 772-4949. All right, guys. What are y'all doing? Add some butter. Butter. Uh -huh. butter in there. Butter always oh, starts a good meal. Good butter. Eric, are you doing a fine job? Holding this? You've not said two darn things. Does that mean he's doing it exactly right the whole way? Yeah, he's perfect. All right. She's All right. She's scared. I'm telling you, you got a lot to live up to over here. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on over here, Tom. Bad. Bring it up a little bit. We're good. Yeah, but don't mind us. I don't hear the sizzle. Yet. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Right. Didn't hear the sizzle. Yet. Sorry. Gotta tell you, their assistants are absolutely wonderful. As long as you're sure about it. Are you happy with that? Pretty good. All right. Oh, okay. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. All right. Is this what we're all sharing? Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little bit of leaks. Yeah. Uh, hey, I can't say. All right. All right. <laughs> Just leave it up for your partners. Yeah. Now, sabotaging your partner is a lot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just oh, saying. You get the if you want to throw that out. Oh, is that going to be enough for all of Hey, It'll be you got it. Whoever grabs it first grabs it. But, oh, you know. I don't want to give him that's, oh, hey. look at her. She's the competitive You're partner. So sweet, but it doesn't cut it in the kitchen. That'd be fine. That'd be good. That'd be good. You can't put it back. You can't put it back. But yes. Yeah. Let me let me point this out. Because I want to make sure they have enough. She hands in the bowl and grabs the last little bit. And you know what? Maybe I don't like leaks, so maybe this is winter down here. Hey, yeah. Going to waste that bowl out. <laughs> you feeling good? Yeah. All right. It does smell good, man. It smells good. What'd you do in the army? I am an instructor right now. Excellent. Yeah. Really? Like a drill instructor? No, I, I actually teach them their job while while they're right when they finish basic, basic training, they come to me. I got you. And I teach them their actual MOA. Also, what they're going to be doing for the rest of their careers when I teach them. Really? He makes his own chocolate. 
Wow. Wow. We've got a little star down here. Really? Evolution in charm in chocolate. There's a guy in New York that every time in there, he's got this chocolate chop, and it's amazing. Yeah, he's, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. I get stepped on a lot. He's a little guy. I'm a little guy. I, you guys feeling all right? Feeling yeah, good? Oh. All right. Excellent. Okay. We don't want to overdo it. That's not a that's not a pan you do that with. Yes. Looking good. It's not. I did I detect a little Irish accent there? <laughs> oh, he got your little Irish accent going on. He does. Perfect. Remember to share the put share, share the potatoes. Share the potatoes. Be nice, kids. Don't forget the uh, Irish stuff you're listening to throughout the show here at the IrishFiddleCoach.com. I want to say thank you for allowing them, or allowing us to use your music, guys. IrishFiddleCoach.com. You can find them on Facebook. If you're a fan of uh, all things Irish and little Celtic music, it is amazing. Um, now, can I ask your professional opinion? Sure. Is that what it's on fire, or are we going to be in store for... Uh... Well, he no. just, um, he just, he just, <laughs> and it's gone. Fire. Yeah. And Saved it's gone. from the brink. It's actually looking really good. Man, it's smelling delicious. That is really here. looking good in here, guys. Recipes at themanmadegourmet.com. You can get this recipe and all the others from uh, past shows. And don't forget, if you want to be a competitor and be right here with us on The Man Made Gourmet, you can email us casting Ooh, at right themanmadegourmet.com. Cheryl, we have a salt and pepper. You know, oh, man, she is a competition. I remember, would, no, uh, no, remember, this is what plant went down here is when it reached in for the last of the leaks. <laughs> I yeah. didn't use them all and then took the last right. couple. Oh, yeah. She's clever. No, that's good. She's I like, clever, no, I like her spirit. Whatever gets the job done, it gets the job done, guys. I like her spirit. I like her spirit. Okay, no, that's and I love these homemade aprons that they've done. She made these <laughs> things. <laughs> you guys made your aprons? I'm they maybe. made their aprons. We got a match. We got a match. Look, you know, you got to coordinate. Yeah. I'm not sure this was made for me, but maybe we can resize it. You can put stuff in there. You can, can you stuff like credit cards and things. I've seen girls do that. Yeah. Hey, but speaking stuff. about clothing and making your own clothing, did yes. you know? I, I did not. That Michael has a clothing line coming out. What? Yep. Absolutely. Dude, we monogram using the international code flags of uh, Really? Yeah. 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 Well, how about how does one go about getting their own uh, their own clothing line? How'd you do that? Well, uh, need a little inspiration, right? And you need some connections to companies. And, uh, right. Excellent. So the, you need a beautiful girl like this to design your women's line. Well, everybody needs one of those. Yeah. I mean, it is the man-made gourmet. What do they say in the military? Beat your face? Yes. If you've got time to walk, you've got time to PT. What are you doing over here, Michael? All right, Amber, here you go. Take your, uh, take your masher. Take the masher. Thank you, sir. There you go. All right. All right. Looking good. Gary, I think we got us uh, some gourmets in the making here. I see that, man. It looks like it's happening. Go ahead and plate up, gourmets. We're going to find out who is the ultimate gourmet today. Of course, the taste test. Totally unbiased. We're just going to eat it. How are we doing on the grading, guys? Look at that. Not bad. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Bring this down. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Get your cheese. Get your chunks. Okay. You set yours right there. How are we doing on the plating, guys? Man, that looks beautiful. All right. Oh, Emma, this is good. You're down in the number three position. I'll put you right down here. All right. Get myself a little potato. And try the cabbage. See if you kind of like it now. <laughs> Not really. Mm. Oh, I love that. Mm, buttery, potatoes are perfect. Yep, bacon is really good. The bacon, even though it's limp, it renders very well. Mm. That cheese on top just throws it off. It's perfect. Perfect, That's perfect. Guys. Love, you're gonna love this, easy to do. All right, gourmets, we're gonna taste your food now. Get out of my kitchen. Get Go. out of the kitchen. Go, get out of here. Come. Now it's getting real, come on, Gary. All right, All right. so this is our, this is our uh, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Our army. Restaurant quality, he added the little you know, garnish to it. He put the garnish on there. Here's the first one, put the yeah. garnish on. But if someone needs to do our cabbage, so. How is it? Mm. Creamy. Lots cabbage isn't quite done. I think he waited long enough on the cabbage. Mm -hmm. But not too bad. A little pepper, you know, that actually mm -hmm. tastes pretty good. I like the creamy consistency. Okay. Look, he put a little extra butter on top here to flavor it up. I don't know, but that that's a nice amazing. touch. Oh, that's and nice look at the way that they garnished. Yep, nice touch. All right, nice guys. Touch. Mm. That is really good. That is really good. I Man, that's good, but this is really, really good. I enjoy yeah, that. They nailed the bacon perfectly. Yep. It's sort of like a buttery texture, just melts in your mouth. So good, I'm gonna take one more bite of cabbage. Mm. 
Okay. Hold on, you should be able. This is number three. Number three. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. All right, here we go. Remember, these are all the stars. This is their all star that is cooking head, Alex B. Keaton. All right. Got it. Oh, that's a tough decision. Mmm. That is really good. Oh, I like that one too. I'm feeling that I want to do so. What do you think? What do y'all think? I think it's out there. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, oh, I'm feeling this, it. You know what? This is a tough decision. This week is actually pretty tough. All delicious. All right, we're going to uh, bring him back in here. All right, That's don't tell anybody. Well, it's about Get behind your food. Come on, get in there. Get behind your food. Get behind the food. I don't know what you're thinking. Which one's yours? All right. Here's the deal, guys. Of course, the recipe is going to be at themanmadegourmet.com. We'd love for you to be a part of a future show as well. You can email casting at themanmadegourmet.com. Thanks to the McCutcheon House, as well as our friends at theirishfiddlecoach.com. Chef Gary, Great have a lot of fun. All right, who's going to win? Who do you think, who feels like who's they got the, it? Who's, who think, well, taste yeah, your food before you say it. I, know. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. <laughs> If you know what it tastes like. The Man Made Gourmet today is going to actually have an hour in home with Chef Gary and I. We're going to come over and show you how to do something one on one, make it a very cool experience. And of course, a four pack of tickets to the Riverbank Zoo and Garden to uh, check out all the fun, the animals, and the gardens. Pretty good, right? All right, Gary. All right, man. You ready? I am ready to announce the crown. We're going to let the fork be divining rod. Who wants it? 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 Ta da! There you go, guys. There's your Man Made Gourmet. I gotta be honest. Oh, that was delicious. Gotta tell you, nailed it in yeah. every which way. It was a pretty tough. You know, all were really, really good. I eat every one of them. Oh, again. it was the toughest decision we had yeah. yet. Yeah, gotta no tell doubt. you, but my congratulations. Congratulations. Erica, nice coaching, by the yeah. way. Very good stuff. All right. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't do it without stuff. you. You know, it's that easy, guys. Woo! It's that easy to do some great stuff in-house. We did this in a half hour. Uh, you know, really easy, five ingredients or so. Yep. And uh, you can make a really cool meal even on St. Patrick's Day. St. Patty's Day. Gold cotton. Did I get that right? Close enough. <laughs> what can I say? You're All the right, one guys. with the Irish accent. Listen, happy St. Patty's Day to you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody out there. And thank you, chefs, for coming in Absolutely. and playing with us today on the Man Made Gourmet. And uh, we're going to see you again real soon for Chef Gary. Tyler Ryan? That's right. Guys, bon appetit. It's time for us to eat. I know. I want to eat. Let's go. We'll see you next I time. I like. That was good. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm eating. This one. Let me try that. this one again. Give me that for okay. No. I have a different food. Joe's Cheesecake Recipe has been in the family for five decades and has won numerous awards. We only use the highest quality ingredients. The holidays are hectic enough. Let Joe take care of dessert. Call 732-CAKE to order yours today. That's 732-2253. Have you tried a Joe?